Today I'm going to share with you a slick trick to create any kind of vignette in Photoshop. And this is one of my personal favorites, so without any further ado, let's jump straight in right now. So here we have a picture of a Volkswagen Beetle. And car enthusiasts, please correct me if I'm wrong. And now, we want to draw the attention of the viewer towards the car. And one of the ways of drawing the attention is by creating a vignette. Our attention goes directly to the brighter areas of the photo, right? And to achieve that, either make a part brighter or make other areas darker. And that's what we're going to do. So to create a vignette, all you have to do, then this is the trick. Create a levels adjustment layer. Click on this gray white icon and click on levels. And by the way, you can download the image using the links in the description. So first, let's understand what these sliders mean and what they do first. Before we do anything, let's just stick it to the left. There we go. So as you open the levels adjustment layer, it has basically five sliders. Okay. This slider makes dark areas brighter. This slider makes bright areas darker. This slider makes dark areas more darker. And this slider makes bright areas more brighter. And this is the mid-tone slider. It makes the mid-tone brighter or darker. So if you move it to the left, it makes it brighter. And if you move it to the right, it makes it darker. It's a little bit opposite, but you'll get to it. Press one to bring it to the middle. And there we are. Now we want to darken the edges, right? So let's take this slider to the left. And by the way, if you take it all the way to the left, it makes it completely black. And this slider is very equivalent to creating a solid color adjustment layer and controlling the opacity. Now, what do I mean by that? Let me just show you. So if we go ahead and create a solid color adjustment layer, say black, and if the opacity is zero, this is what we get, right? If the opacity is hundred, this is completely black. If the opacity is 50, around 50, this is what we get moderately darker. And that's pretty much the same thing with the levels. This slider of the level does pretty much the same thing. Think of it as a solid color adjustment layer with opacity. Okay. So with variable opacity. If this is the case, opacity is hundred. If this is the case, opacity is zero. And think of this slider as a solid color adjustment layer with the color white. Okay. If this is the case, Opacity is 100%. If this is the case, opacity is zero. So let's take this. Let's delete this solid color adjustment layer. We didn't really need it. That was just for demo. Let's bring it to the left. Now, here comes the trick. Okay. Select the brush. Make sure the foreground color is black. Okay. Make the brush harder. How do we make a brush harder? Simple. Hold the Alt or Option key. And with the right mouse button, sorry, drag it to the right to make it bigger. Drag it to the left to make it smaller. Drag it upwards to make it softer. Drag it downwards to make it harder. So make it completely hard. Hardness is 100% and make it a little small. And just paint on the middle of the car with black and the mask selected. And there you go, our vignette is done. <laughs> just kidding. Also make sure the flow and opacity is 100% because if they are not, it will be a little faded. Okay, so let's go back and let's do that again with the flow and opacity 100. Okay. Now if you press control or command T, okay, T for tennis ball, control or command T, watch what happens. You can now transform the mask, the objects in a mask. So make it a little bigger. Hold shift and alt or option. If you're using a Mac, shift and option for Mac, shift and alt for windows. Now drag it to make it bigger from the center and stop when whole of the car can be seen brighter. This is nice. That's pretty nice. Okay. Now all you have to do, open up the mask properties. How to open the mask properties. Once you have your adjustment layer properties open, okay, hit enter, click on this. It opens up the mask properties. So every adjustment layer has two properties, the mask properties and the adjustment layer properties. And to toggle between them, you can simply click on the mask and click on the adjustment properties icon. Or you can just toggle between these two by using these two icons. There you go, the properties. And if you cannot see the properties, all you have to do, go to Windows and click on Properties. And there, the properties will be available. Also, you can just double click on it to get to the properties and both of these will be available. Okay, now you cannot see mask, no mask selected. So make sure you select the mask, and there you have the mask, and then you have both the properties. Now we have got the vignette. Let's feather it. It doesn't look right, does it? Okay, so let's come to the mask properties and then increase the feather. 
and there you have your vignette ready to go. Now here's the fun part. You can even change the position of it right now. You can transform it even now. Press Ctrl or Command T and you can move it the way you want. You can stretch it the way you want and you have your personalized vignette and you can create any shape. Okay, so let's go back to, let's come back to the circle and let's erase that. You can create any shape if you want. Let's create a rectangular shape. Okay, just like that. Fill it up with black. You know how to do that, right? Alt backspace, option delete if you're using a Mac. So make sure the foreground color is black and then press Alt backspace. If you're using a Mac, it is option delete. Now this fills this up with black in the mask. Press Ctrl or Command D. Now you can make it bigger. Ctrl or Command T, T for tennis ball. Make it bigger from the center and you can adjust it. And if this is not aligned, here's the way to align that. Very simple. Make sure go to view and then make sure snap is checked. And once snap is checked, you can even move it and just snap it to the center just like that. And it snaps it self to the center. Also, if you don't want to snap, here's another way to do it. Press controller command A, select the move tool and then on the top you have these alignment tools. Okay. Align it vertically by clicking this. Align it horizontally by clicking this. Now it is aligned. Press Ctrl or Command D and you can open up the properties. Okay. Go to Windows and then Properties if you cannot see them and then simply increase the feather. And there you have a square vignette. And you can always go ahead, press Ctrl or Command T and then you can make it smaller, bigger. You can do it, do anything you want with this. Hit Enter once you're satisfied. Now, these were just common darkening vignettes. You can do much more than that. You can add contrasty, grungy vignettes, white vignettes, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and open up the properties of the le uh, levels adjustment layer. So click on this, just double click on this. This opens up the properties of the levels adjustment layer. Now, if you wanted white vignette, let's take it back. Move it to the right. You get what? White vignette. Okay. Now, what does this slider do? This slider adds contrast, right? Let's make the vignette a little bit more heavy on the edges so, so that you can see what's happening. Okay, just like that, move it to the car. There we go. Now this is looking fine. Okay, so we were darkening this. Now, how about adding a little contrast, okay? So, take this slider to the right. What does this do? This makes the dark areas more darker. Have a look, adds that grungy effect. And you can even combine different sliders, make this a little brighter, just like that. And look how beautiful this looks right now. I think this looks much better with a circular one. So let's make this a little circular, fill this up with white again, and let's add a circle. Like, there we go. It is, okay. Press Ctrl Command T. The feather is already increased and just this looks fine to me. Let's increase the feather even more. Let's go to the mask properties of this. Make sure the mask is selected. Increase it just a little bit. There we go. And let's transform it. It looks fine. Now let's do that. Okay. Come back to the levels adjustment layer and then take this. See the grunginess and make it a little brighter. There we are. Have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Adds much more punch to, to the photo. Also, how about a different kind of vignette? So now, up until now, what we were doing, we will just press Ctrl or Command T and we could edit the objects in a mask. But what if you want to add an image instead of simply a levels adjustment layer? At that time, if you press Ctrl or Command T or tried to move it, the image would move. Okay? But the objects in the mask wouldn't. Here's how to take care of that, okay? So let's say, for example, as a vignette, we wanted to add a black texture. So let's search for some black textures. And by the way, this is the Pexos Photoshop plugin. This allows you to search for free stock photos from inside of Photoshop. So I just search for black textures. Let's see if we get some nice. Okay, let's add this for a sec. Okay, by now it's downloading the photo and it will download it and open it up as an image. Whoops, something strange happened. So I'm gonna go Windows extensions and again load up that photo which we just had loaded up, this one. 
Okay, let me again do that. This time let's search for a night sky. So night sky. Let's see what comes. Okay, let's click on this and this will load up as a layer above this photo. So it should happen. I'm just hoping that this doesn't screw up this time. Okay, right now it's downloading the photo and by the time it's downloading, I wanted to discuss something with you. When you create an adjustment layer, it comes free with a mask. But when you create a regular layer, when you add an image, a pattern, design, anything else, it doesn't come with a mask. So as you can see, this is downloaded. If we make it a little bigger, press Ctrl or Command T and make it a little bigger. This didn't come with a mask, right? So we need to create a mask. So how to create a mask? Click on this button, add layer mask button, square, circle inside it, click on that button, this creates a mask. Now simply also in this, take the brush, make sure the mask is selected, brush is hard, just click in the middle or wherever the car is and you can always move that, okay? Just click there. Make sure the opacity in the flow is 100. Now make it a little bigger, but if you do that, see, the whole of the layer is being affected, but we just wanna affect the image, right? If you wanna move it, it just doesn't move. Everything moves with it. Here's the solution, let me give you a solution. Both the mask and the image is now linked. If you try to move the mask, the image will also move. And if you try to move the image, the mask will also move. Both are dependent, linked, connected. And literally, they do have a link in between. Have a look, see this link? All you have to do is to break the link. And how to break the link? Click on the link and it will break. Now, if you select the mask and move it, just the mask will move objects in a mask. If you select the image and move it, the image will move, not the mask. So that's your way to go. Select the mask, make it a little bigger, just like that. Okay, stretch it a little bit. Hit enter and open up the properties of the mask. How to do that? Windows, then properties. Okay, now increase the feather. There we are, have a look. Now once you increase the feather, you can also just, there we go. And you can control the intensity by using what? Opacity, right? So decrease the opacity if you think the intensity is too high. And there you have it. By the way, while we were using the levels adjustment layer to create a vignette, we had those five sliders, right? Remember the five sliders? To control what? The intensity, how dark will the vignette be? How bright will the vignette be? So on and so forth. But in this one, we don't have. And that's why we are using what? Opacity to do that for us. I know, we could also have used opacity in that case too. But we had those sliders. We could manipulate the brightness, the contrast, and the grungy effect, a lot of stuff. Now, this technique is not just limited to vignettes. You can do a dozen things with it, okay? Let me show you a couple. So this is not vignette, but just let me show you. So if you were adding some text, say you were writing Porsche. Is the spelling right? I don't know. Let's make it a little bigger and let's see what have I written. That's pretty much, looks right. And change the color of this one to say bright. And let's change the font to Trajan Pro Regular. There we are. And you wanted to add some lines at the edges, just like that. Just like this, okay? So we select the line tool or even the rectangle tool and create something like this. Okay, fill it up with white. There we go. Now you want to delete this from the text, remove this from the text. So what you would do, you would simply create a mask, okay? Then with the rectangular marquee tool, make a selection and fill it up with what? Black. Press Alt Backspace, Option Delete with the foreground color, black. Also, here's one more way, let's go back. Before creating a mask, also you can have a selection and then create a mask. This converts the active selection to a mask. Does pretty much the same thing. But this does just the opposite. So we need to invert that. Press controller command I. Okay. Now let me tell you one other way so that it becomes completely clear to you. So create an active selection. Press and hold Alt or Option to already create a negative mask. Hold the Alt and then create a mask. Now here's the fun part. If you want to just move the object, just want to adjust this, 
Just click on this link, break the link, Ctrl Command T and then adjust it the way you want. Isn't that interesting? Now you can just fine tune it the way you want it and there you are. And before we go, one last thing, we really need to fix it. I'm totally ashamed of this. Oh God. Anyway, let's just fix it. I think it's right now. I think, yes. I'm sorry guys, I'm really sorry. And that's pretty much it. Just focus on the concept. Don't go looking for how to achieve this effect, that effect, because eventually you'll be lost because I was. I'm sharing this with you because I don't want you to be lost. Just understand the concept. And if you do, you can achieve any effect you want. And the concept that we learned in this video is this. Number one, you can detach the layer mask from the layer. Any layer, be it a regular image layer or adjustment layer. You can always detach that. Number two, after you detach, you can transform it. If it's an adjustment layer, it's not attached. But if it's a regular layer, you need to detach by clicking on that link button in between those. You can free transform those objects in the mask. Also, number three, you can add feather to it or even make it lighter. And that pretty much wraps it all. Hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.